Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Now, if you're diabetic, managing your diet can be one of the greatest tools you have to help keep your blood sugar steady. Carbohydrates are what directly affects our blood sugar levels. And carbohydrates are found in our starches and grains, our fruits, and our dairies. These just have naturally occurring sugars. So be aware when you're consuming these foods of how much actual carbohydrate you're taking in. First and foremost, check your nutrition label. Look down to see what per serving, how many carbohydrates there is. 15 is going to be our magic number because that's what we can consider one exchange of a carbohydrate or one carbohydrate unit, if you will. Remember, 15 is that unit exchange. So if you have something that's 60 grams of carbohydrate, that's quite a few exchanges of carbohydrate per serving. Keep your carbohydrates consistent throughout the day and try to consume carbohydrates higher in fiber. Our bodies don't digest fiber, and this actually helps us to slow the general di um, digestion process in eating other foods. Slowing that digestion process is going to help those sugars come to your bloodstream a little bit slower, hopefully avoiding those extreme highs and jumps in your blood sugar levels. High fiber comes from the whole fruits and whole vegetables and whole grain products. Eating things more processed, the fiber has been removed some, and this may tend to make your blood sugar rise a little bit sooner than normal. Again, moderation is key here, and also trying to stay consistent with your carbohydrates throughout the day. Read your nutrition facts labels to see how much carbohydrate you're having per serving, and try to keep one exchange to about 15 grams. For more information on eating with diabetes, check out eathappy.info. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.